this is Shannon so this video happened because I made a TikTok where I said would Artemis let trans people into the hunters because I think that the way that Rick Riordan depicted the hunters in Titan's Curse is his way of showing why the turfy ideas and just being really rigid about gender and sexuality and love is problematic and can lead to problems um, and a lot of people had some big feelings about that that included yelling at me for three days at a time for bringing that up. And so, if you're somebody who is not open to questioning the characters of Artemis and her hunters in any real way, feel free to, like, skip this video and just, like, come back and watch another one of ours some other time. But if you're into that sort of a discussion about all of this sort of stuff, then feel free to keep watching and like and subscribe if you watch what if you like what we're saying and otherwise just enjoy the video to be honest i'm not critiquing like rick riordan's writing even i'm more like just critiquing the more the yeah. fact that if this is a god like this is a greek god and this is like her myth like this is how she is presented and but if you put that into the into the modern day which is the literal point of these books is to take these ancient beings and put them into our modern day you have to apply like modern things to these old ideas that's the whole point of these books and so like even though it makes sense for artemis to be feeling this way it's like yeah but but she's like a character in these stories and so the fun of it is to like actually think about what this would be like if if because she's interacting with a lot of kids that go through a lot of bad things and so it's like but what about like certain situations like that would come up like what would she do in situations like that that i just have to like wonder about especially because people generally like her a lot and i'm like have you thought about what it would be like if like she turned away like a trans man or something like that or that she she would she would probably hate a trans man because they gave up being a woman and it, like that's just very much what she's like or just the thing that like i could not get out of my head and was like making me way too upset today was the idea of like if you're a child sex abuse victim does she count being raped as having sex like would she turn me away after i was six from joining the hunters would she say that i was not allowed to join yeah because that happened to me yeah she would <laughs> she would tell me i would be not allowed to join and it's yeah. like and it's more like you're saying that you're like a paragon of like womanhood that you want to protect girlhood or womanhood you're protecting nothing like just gonna say that that if kids like especially kids but anybody if anybody is raped at any point and you count that as having sex and that they are no longer innocent and that they have like given something away where they are no longer allowed to join your group because somebody else did that to you you are making what men do the most important thing about them and that's like really how, how why it um it makes me think of like turfiness is that they make like they whittle down women to like the simplest most like offensive things about who you are as a person they make the smallest thing about you your entire personality and it's like if me as like a child sex abuse victim goes to artemis and is like can i join your group and she says no because you had sex before i've never had sex before i've been raped there's a big difference there there was no point in what happened to me but she mm -hmm. he, she would likely see it because the only thing that matters to her and like that sort of thinking is what a man did to me. It doesn't matter who I am as a person, what I've been through, none of that matters. That's the only thing that matters is what somebody else did to me. And it's that whole idea of like, oh, but I'll like kill the person that hurt you. And it's like, that solves no problems that creates bigger ones. Yeah. Because now I feel guilty that this person that I knew and loved was killed because of you. And then also I am still left with nothing. I don't have a support system still. No. I don't have community still. I don't have anything. And you're like not letting people join who want those things and don't have those things in their life. 
because of things that they can't control. And it's just like, that's what would happen if somebody went through something like that and they talked to her in this story. And there likely are demigods that went through something like that. Yeah. Because the parents that they're involved with and are around are not good people. So most of the time they're not. And so it's just one of those things to think about of like, can I like a God that would like turn me away because of that? It'd be like, no, yeah. like, no, fuck Artemis. <laughs> like, no, I'm not going to like a God who, even if she likes nature and even if she is a romantic and a asexual, the place that I should feel like I can, that I would fit in. It's just another way of like femininity being very limited to like one definition and like that's been like my entire life is that i've never fit i guess the, the thing i kept just thinking over and over again today was like when you're when you go through like really bad stuff when you're a kid especially that sort of a thing you cannot be like a soft like feminine person mm -hmm. you will die you will it's not an exact you will literally die <laughs> if you are soft you have to be strong you have to be resilient you have to be really tough yeah. in order to get through that not because you want to but because you have to like i didn't have that choice to be like a soft like feminine girl who would like cry over movies and wear dresses and want to be something like that that was not an option for me mm -hmm. and so like it feels just like really wrong that this like fun version of a god that's supposed to be like the paragon of like girlness and femininity that like accepts everybody i know wouldn't accept somebody like me yeah and i just hate that <laughs> and i and i think it's like kind of fascinating that most people like her and have like not thought about this sort of thing but it this sort of thing is something that would come up if she was like a real person or a real character who interacts with people in these stories yeah it's it's sad to think because i can see artemis like i'm trying to think of the way to put this it's almost like the way that people think that like god will save them in certain situations you know that's the kind of situation that she's supposed to be protecting she's supposed to be the protectress of women and children and it's like so did you let this happen to me and now I can't join your gang? Like, yeah. what? Yeah, it's just the extreme genderness just always makes me feel really uncomfortable. Like even that one myth about her where a man sees her naked and so she turns the man into a woman. Mm -hmm. Like some people would be like, oh, she's fine with trans people because of that. And I'm like, that's not really being trans though because she forced him to become a woman. Mm -hmm. And it's also just a thing of like, why is it okay for a woman to watch you when you're naked if it's not okay for it's not okay for either of them to do that just for the record <laughs> like, well, yeah, houses were are a different culture thing so i don't i don't want to like knock that too hard but yeah it's yeah. uncomfortable no matter what um and, and it's more just the yeah. idea of uh, that like the fix that she had for that situation was oh if i turn him into a woman everything is fine and it's like why <laughs> Why is that suddenly fine? Well, some of the mythology snobs like to like make the oi their end oi. The, if I could talk, the oi their end all be all of like mythology sources. Um, that myth is listed under wrath. It's not listed under favor. So it was meant to be a punishment, very much. Yeah. Somebody in my comments said that she was punishing him because the worst thing for a man to be is a woman. And I was like, look, that is like a 70 page thing piece. <laughs> like, that... it's what they thought it, it, yeah. it is a sign of the time. Yeah. And it, it's honestly, that's something that men even now still have issues with. Most of the problems between men and women is that when men are boys, like feminine or like girly things that like being a girl, being girly or like things like that are seen as like, a bad thing or seen as like that's like the ultimate joke of like oh you're being a little sissy or you're being a girl things like that and so that's where more of that weird and animosity that i see straight people just engage in for god knows what reason like <laughs> <laughs> happens that's why the that stuff happens and so it's not even like an outside topic but it's more of like stating it as if 
like that's just like a fact and i'm like yeah but that's that's wrong <laughs> that's like what i'm trying to say and yeah. you're not getting what i'm trying to say here but like the idea that like a god is just like yeah if i just turn him into a a, a woman he'll be like so embarrassed that he'll never tell anybody about what i look like when i when i'm naked and it's just like it's it i just don't like it that this version of like gods that are supposed to be higher than humans are also engaging in gender politics <laughs> so like can we stop like it's yeah. I, like can we can there be one place in life where that doesn't happen like rick raritan himself the way that he writes this you're not supposed to be like this is great <laughs> i'm really glad that like that you know nico and percy are being completely ignored the way that they are like it's very clear from the way that he presents this that it, this isn't something you should be like excited about like you're supposed to find artemis and the hunters interesting of course but you're not like sitting there like you're not he's not he's not writing it in a way where he's like trying to make excuses for for them to act this way or to think that it's okay you're so you're upset like percy is upset he's like yelling at them in this in this book when they're like grooming Bianca into joining them, you're obviously not supposed to think that what they're doing is okay. And that just like continues on as this book goes on. And so like, I think that's almost like a good thing for people to notice is like, just because Rick Riordan writes it doesn't mean that he's saying that, that thinking that way is all right. Like look at what his characters are doing and especially what Percy is doing. Like, how does Percy feel about this? He's really upset about this. And, yeah. and it's, depressed and feels like everything he just went through was for no reason like you're obviously not supposed to be happy that this happened to him and that artemis acts this way is like we can't think of these gods as moralistic they were never meant to be moralistic like even homer is writing about them throwing bitch fits at each other and like literally fighting each other um and i think that that's why they are so fun to work with in works of fiction like this is because they are flawed gods. We're not pretending like they're all perfect, like the Christian God, you know, like, where's the fun in that? You know, there's, there's no character arc to get over. There's no fatal flaw. There's no um, rigid thinking that gets you into stupid trouble. So um, like the gods very much represent that. And in a way, it's a lot more predictable than saying this God is all knowing and all good and all loving and still is going to protect you and stuff. Because at least you could be like, these ones are fickle and they never make sense. And they also are assholes. So like, if they happen to favor me, I'm just gonna kiss their ass. Yeah, like we've been sending TikTok videos back and forth about how the ocean keeps eating billionaires. Yep. And I like set the joke that Poseidon is trying to suck up the Percy to get him to talk to him some more. But <laughs> that's generally kind of, so this is, like, I know that people use media literacy right now as like a dig in a way that is not logical. Like people will just say that when someone just has a different opinion than them about something when it doesn't apply. Yeah. But one place that it does apply when it comes to this book series is the idea that people don't think about like, oh, Rick wrote this in a book, so he thinks that it's okay. And it's like, no, that's, that's it's not that simple. Like, what are the people actually doing in this book that is what that's what shows whether rick is okay with it or not or whether you want to be okay with it or not because a lot of people when you bring that stuff up they say like oh well rick wrote it in this book so it's obviously fine and it's like is it though because he wrote it in this book where there where these other things are happening mm -hmm. people almost like need to like think about it in a bigger way of like what is rick trying to say though by what these characters are going through or like how they're acting because just because a character in a book in the book series says it doesn't mean that rick is saying that thinking that way is okay yeah and i see this the most when it comes to like luke stuff that a lot of people are like oh well you know luke had like a sad backstory and so rick told us about that so obviously we're supposed to like let the things he does slide and it's like no that's that's not how that stuff works either. But I see it come up today with like Artemis where a, a freaking video I made got like 3000 views in like two hours because people were arguing with me <laughs> so much in the comments because they were so just mad that I asked them like, would trans people join the hunters? And I was like, I don't think that 
some of them would like uh, eventually it got to people that were like yeah she would never let trans men in and yeah. but like but it was more just the general idea that i was even questioning that made people so mad and i'm like i don't know why no one's thought about this before and it's not me saying that rick riordan doesn't like trans people that's obviously not true with the way that he writes his stories he has an entire book series of just trans people basically which is magnus chase and so he's obviously very much okay with all of them at all time but like it's more just the thing of like just because rick is writing it doesn't mean that he agrees with what his characters are doing exactly and i just like almost like i'm interested to see if more people reread the books like we are um mm -hmm. as they get older and see if they like feel differently about certain things when they go back and read them as they're older because i guarantee you that you'll feel very differently artemis used to be one of my favorite gods yeah like our first ever podcast i'm pretty sure i said that i loved her and, yeah. I, and I also said that i loved hermes <laughs> And I don't like any either one of them anymore yeah. at all. And so it's like it, you know, as you get older, your perspective changes, which is the fun of a story like this. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to think about this stuff. And like even the the tweets that I found of him where he said like, yeah, um, Artemis is arrow and ace. The rest of them is him saying like the hunters, though, is like up for debate. Yeah. Because they could be being celibate, which is not being asexual, obviously. That's abstaining from a need that you do have. And mm -hmm. which is why some of them end up do leaving when they do want to be in a relationship like that. But yeah. like he says himself, like, yes, the God is that way, but everyone else in the Hunters is like, whatever you think is happening is what you think is happening. It, they yeah. could be anything. And it's not like, it's not set in stone in the way that it is with her. And so he wants you to, Think about that and like think about what you would want or who, what you think is going on with these people yeah